can use your imagination. You better use your imagination. Let your mind run free. Tell me what you wanna do to me. Use your You better use your Here we are, bitch. We done made it. The star season finale. Oh my goodness. It was definitely giving what it was giving, so let's give it what we got. Okay, so the episode opens up with the girls finding out that they got the spot on the tour. Well, bitch, before they can celebrate, I was there for you bitches. That song that I said was a hit became a hit because Maurice didn't release the shit and it was on the radio and the other girls heard it. That was all Simone and Alex needed. They were pretty much done with Star after that. So, eh. Yeah. Then we move on to the album release party. Now, although they was not getting along, they were serving looks. Them three girls looked amazing. Simone with that hair up with them too. Yes, you were giving. Oh, I love that look. I just had to talk about that. I fucked the whole scene. The looks were everything. Carlotta. It seemed like Carlotta just can't win for losing. She barely trying to get over the goddamn death of High Eel. Now she got Take Three messing up. And then Noah, first of all, she found out that he wasn't just taking one sip. Homie was taking it back, okay? And then, when she got a little rocky, he fired Carlotta. If he know what's good for him, he needs to make that shit right. But we'll get into his storyline because, baby, he may not be here to tell his story. Cassie, Cassie mama, you are stone fucking cold, okay? The way that you try to hide and lie and smooth over. Like, I got this. Y'all need time. But you the one that did it. Okay, I understand it was an accident because you was really trying to get Andy. But still, bitch, it was you. Okay? And girl, the way you had came at Andy, bitch. Like, I really thought he was going to, like, swoon you over with the kisses and the finger and all that. Mama said, no, 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 no. This shit feel good. And I would hate to have to do a drive-by over at Peachtree where your parents do brunch at coffee shops. Uh huh. Now go ahead and taste my love as I depart. Maurice. Maurice, you are a fucking savage. Now that you understand that it's really over between you and Carlotta, you ain't got no fucking respect for her. You treating her like some random bitch on the street. And you are coming after Star and this whole solo thing. Like, it's just the cat me fucking out. And it is not. I mean, I love Star. I know them as a package deal, like Carlotta said the entire fucking episode. Stop trying to break up my girls, bitch. But what I will say is, bitch, you was on to something because seven million streams, mama was popping, okay? For anything to get seven million streams. Alone? She popping. She is popping. Noah. Baby, Noah is doing exactly what I said he was going to do. Bursting at the motherfucking seams. Don't know his right from his left. Don't know whether he coming or motherfucking going, okay? He needs to get his shit together. And then on top of that, he gonna link up with Gigi and start trying coke as if liquor was not enough. As if liquor was not a big enough problem for you. Now you finna start snorting coke. Okay, boo. All right. Okay, and I'm so glad Star got your motherfucking ass together. You got her together down to the New Orleans and she returned the motherfucking favor when y'all was on tour. Look at what you doing. Look at what you doing. You wanted this and that you gonna throw it away? Behind this raggedy bitch? I love you, Kiki, but as Gigi, bitch, you get dust for me, okay? Perfect segue to Alex. Baby, Alex is somewhere in the same boat with her little boyfriend, child. She is bursting at the seams and falling apart. Between Noah and all his shit and all that drama, and then you got the girls on this end, mama don't know what's going on. She had her little rise to fame, but she was like, no, 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 no. It's about the group. It ain't about me. Even though she was basking in that soloism at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then Star gets her damn rise to fame. And you can just see the envy and the bitterness like, ugh, ugh. And I think what stung was the fact that not only are you bursting out as this solo artist, but you're doing it at our fucking expense. It was a diss record. I mean, she dissed Alex, she dissed Derek, she dissed her sister, she dissed everybody. Fuck all y'all bitches should have been the title of the goddamn song. Now I was there. No, no, no. Fuck y'all. Because that's exactly the sentiments that she was pouring out to y'all motherfucking ass. But back to Alex. Alex falling and bursting at the seams and when all else fell, she was like, I don't know who else to call. I don't know where else to go. And she goes to Derek. 
baby Derek shoots her down. And it's like, I got a girl, you know, like, and even though I was like, damn. And that's surprising because if y'all can remember back, honey, I did not like Derek and Alex together. Not when the show first started. No, ma'am, I was not feeling that, okay? But even in that moment, I can respect the fact that he was like, no, I can't do her like that. I can't be disrespectful. I can't be no fuck boy. But whatever he did, bitch, he shut that down because at the end of the episode, homie was at the airport saying, I need to get my girl off this plane. And we'll get to that in a minute. Star. Star, this episode, my heart really went out to you, mama, because you flat out told Maurice not to put it out. And the fact that it went out made you look like a bitch because all of those emotions came back and the girls was mad at you. And then on top of that, it was successful. So it made you look that much more of a bitch. And... You know, who wouldn't ride that wave? You know, this is all you've wanted. Alex, bitch, you ain't really got no loyalty to her. And she wanna walk off and I can't listen to this. Oh, but bitch, we was all ears when you was getting endorsements and you was rocking with no. We was all ears for that shit. And then Simone was like, mm, I am just out. Okay, I just cannot do this anymore. So the fact that Star felt like she lost everybody, she was like, shit, why not? I would've did the same fucking thing. But in this episode, she finally tells Simone about their mom. Simone, I don't know about y'all, but she reacted totally different from what I expected. Baby, mama, I don't know if it's because of Angel, but mama is ice cold inside. She was like, let it the fuck go. You were a child. Let it go. Ugh. Like, it wasn't even that big of a deal. Like, she was just over it. Perfect segue to Simone. Like I said, Simone was over it. From the diss track to Angel being locked up in the first place, she was just over it. And baby, after she found out he was going to be deported and he wanted an annulment... Oh, that just really just struck her soul in two. She was like, no, fuck no. Mama said, uh-uh, fuck this group, fuck my sister. I love you, Carlotta, fuck your ass, fuck Ayana, fuck everybody. I'm finna go after my motherfucking man. He deported, no, 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 bitch, we deported. Cotton, Cotton didn't really give much this episode, but this season she was really giving me the feels. Like, mama stepped her game up. Her character really had a lot more unfolding, and I loved Cotton this season. Now, in this episode, for some strange reason, Mama thinks that because she left Omari alive, he then came back with a vengeance and killed Ha'il. Baby, the way Carlotta slapped the fuck out of her, she gonna have some making up to do, okay? I don't know. I will get to that later. She got some making up to do next season, okay? Because she slapped the dog. I felt it. That performance that led up to that fight, that led up to that breakup, the performance was everything, bitch. They was on the swings, they had the fog machine, everything was working. Alex could not take that people was here for Star as well as Take 3. Like, bitch, you would have never lasted in Destiny's Child because it was clear that Beyonce outshined everybody. Beyonce was Destiny's Child, okay? So it was really kind of uncomfortable to watch. Because even though Star felt how she felt when you was getting your shine, Alex, she didn't do all of that. She was a bitch. She was bitter. Hell the fuck yes. But she didn't do all of that. You snatching the mic down and want to fight. That's why your ass got pushed off the stage. Andy. Oh my goodness. I guess Cassie really shook your motherfucking ass up because the next time we see your motherfucking ass, you are caught in Midtown Studios forging Ayana's name. On her checks. I don't know if you were trying to garner 15000 so you could... What did you do with the money? The, I'm still trying to figure this out. The EP is has yet to surface. So, if you sold the money for the music, and there is no music, where the fuck is the money? But baby, are you gonna say, oh, no, 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 no. What you not finna do, bitch, is, is do this to me. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. Hell no, ma'am. Mama got to call the security. He slapped that phone down. Mama said, you know what? You want to slap the phone down? But, bitch, I'm about to slap your life down. And she tried to get that gun. But Andy said, bitch, Cassie ain't about to take me out. And you damn sure ain't about to take me out. Hell no, ma'am. They wrestling over the gun. And he shoots Ayana in the stomach. Oh, my goodness. I was asking about that pregnancy test. Somebody had told me in the comments. But Ayana confirmed it, bitch. She was pregnant with High Eels, baby. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Lord, lift us up where we belong. Carlotta is trying to nurse her back to health when she finds out that the love of her life that fucking left her for every bitch under the sun has impregnated somebody else. Carlotta, my hat goes off to you because I would have been like, oh, 
Okay. But you didn't do that. You stayed and helped her. And mama realized that she would have never made it without you. Yeah. So, she took over Florida Entertainment or whatever the fuck that was. And she made you head of Midtown. Thank you. And in the midst of all that, Lana say, bitch, you been playing me all this time. You been being savage and you been beating on your chest like you was motherfucking King Kong. Well, bitch, rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, bitch. I'm here and I'm here to slay, bitch. Maurice, you fire. Poof, la boof. Okay, bye-bye, bitch. We ain't gonna miss you. And baby, she must have known she was coming in to goddamn fight Maurice because that wig was so lit, bitch. It looked like she went back in time. Found Cleopatra and said, I'll take that and put that bitch on, put some lot of body spritz and oil sheen on that bitch. And then she shredded her ass into that office. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, so after all that, Carlotta's like, bitch, okay, I done took care of Ayana. Now let me take care of Andy. Bitch, I want to help you. But I need to figure out why the fuck you felt it was necessary to do what you was doing. He's like, okay, I owe money. Okay, well, bitch, who the fuck you owe money to? Homie, like, okay, well, I need to find money to pay off the person who killed her ill because that bullet was meant for me. Now, in that moment, I could see Carlotta changing because she like, bitch, my man could still be here? And your ass is, you better start talking. And then she found out that it was her sister. Y'all, I was shook because I was expecting her to be like, Cassie? It was more like, oh my God, that's who you owe money to? Oh, like, it was more distressed than it was shock. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, huh? That took me for a loop because I just knew she was going to be taken aback. But I didn't know she was going to be taken aback in that way. So she said, okay, bitch. Cassie, come on through. I, I want to have a little powwow with you. Cassie was like, okay, cool. Okay, you got a drink. She said, yeah, I got, I got a little hand out, hand out, a little Jack Daniels. Bitch, they get the drink and then she get a little Scarface talk. Next thing I know, they both drawing guns. Carlotta is shaking like a motherfucking leaf. And Cassie like, bitch, you know I got your back, don't do this. And next thing I motherfucking know, the gun go off and we don't know who the fuck then got popped. Oh my goodness. And if that wasn't enough, we find Noah on the motherfucking ledge. We already know he coked out and he drunk. Even if he decides that he don't want to goddamn take his life, he may slip. Oh Lord Jesus, save us all. And if that wasn't enough, and start leaving from her dressing room, it's something on the news saying that a plane leaving from Atlanta had just crashed. That's why I'm saying we're going to get into it because I don't know. Alex was on her way to New York and Simone was on her way overseas. So who plane crashed? Lord Jesus. Leave. As much as you taking me through, I'm going to need a walkthrough or something on the next season. I need something to pay me for my pain. Okay? Oh my goodness gracious. But y'all, yeah, oh Lord. Yeah, that was it, y'all. That was the season finale. It gave what it gave. And I cannot wait for the next season. So yeah, same place, same time.